explosiveness, athleticism, dynamic scoring ability, and nobody brings that to the table better than Jalen Green. Jalen Green. <laughs> Mike Smith said he got the most upside. He played one G League playoff game. He had 30 points and seven assists. I know it's early and the Houston Rockets have only played the first half of the season, but wow, does Jalen Green look like a future superstar in this league. Many people thought he should go number one. Many people thought he should go number four. But it's clear and cut right now that Jalen Green is the best player in this class. And I can say that after a half of basketball because I've never seen anything like this. He's going head to head with Luka Doncic, who had one of the best seasons in the league last season, was all NBA first team. And he's being outplayed by Jalen Green. This is incredible. What a find by Raphael Stone. This is why you don't pick for fit. The first night of the lottery, everyone knows I wanted Evan Mobley. And then I woke up the next morning and I was like, well, wait a minute, Jalen Green, if anyone can bring a championship to Houston, it's gonna be this kid. He can score the lights of the basketball. He's athletic, he fits the modern NBA. There's no stopping this kid. Again, I call him a kid because he's not even 20. I remember the first time I talked about Jalen, I actually wrote this. I said, he's not a point guard. He made a ton of plays for his teammates off of drives and in the pick and roll. And Jalen responded and said, that's not true. He said, I can play point guard, I can play shooting guard, I can play small forward, it doesn't matter. Wherever I play, I'm going to excel. I should be the number one pick. And part of me didn't want to believe him, but part of me did, because if he does end up being this player, I don't want to be the team that passed on him. You know, you feel me? Like, Michael Jordan was picked third. What if Jalen Green is picked third as well? The biggest thing to me is Kevin Porter Jr. I believe is a superstar. I, I heard a podcast earlier talking about how KPJ could be gone in a few years. I don't see him as him being that type of guy. That's complete bullshit. Kevin Porter Jr. is going to be a star in this league for years to come. And to be quite frank, I don't want him leaving the Rockets. I don't care what it costs, how much it costs, what we have to do. Kevin Porter Jr. should retire Rocky. He should be here, well, not his whole career because he started in Cleveland, but basically his whole career because no one's going to really remember KBJ even in Cleveland. It was a disaster in its own right, but when he came to the Rockets, it was a sign of life, a sign of refreshment. The Houston Rockets are back, and I'm not talking about this team that was a second-round exit in the play. I'm talking about a team that's going to win championships, and it starts with KBJ. It starts with Jalen Green, and it ends with that.